Hello and welcome. Continuing my look at the railways of Norfolk, in this series of videos I'm going to look at the old East Norfolk Railway, later the Great Eastern Railway line, between Wroxham and County School via Aylsham. Wroxham was situated on the Whitlingham Junction to North Walsham line and County School was on the Deerham, Deerham and Fakenham line. The line was designed to provide a link between East and West Norfolk and to prevent any independent promotion from Norwich to Aylsham. Aylsham had not been happy being left off the original East Norfolk route from Whitlingham Junction to North Walsham. The line was opened in stages. The first section from Wroxham to Buxton Le Mass was opened on the 8th of July 1879 by the East Norfolk Railway, later worked by the Great Eastern Railway into which it was incorporated. The second section from Buxton to Le Mass to Aylsham was opened on the 1st of January 1880. Then the line from Aylsham to Causton was opened on the 1st of September 1880. From Causton to Reapham opened on the 2nd of May 1881. And a year later on the 1st of May 1882 the final section from Reapham to County School was opened. So now let's go and have a look at the line. And I'll start at Wroxham. So, Wroxham Station, actually situated in the parish of Hoveton, on the north bank of the River Bure. This is an extremely unattractive view of the roadside of the station. Um, yes, yeah, not at all pretty. And here we are on the downside, towards Aylsham. It, the station was built on a long sweeping curve, as you can see here. Um, there were two platforms, a station building on the upside. The original wooden buildings were replaced in the mid-1930s. There was also on the downside, at the end of this platform, a brick-supported water tank. And just behind where I am now, there is a road underbridge and uh, after that the signal box which we shall see shortly. And this is the signal box um, which is actually open to the public on certain days. There is a video I made of this signal box when it was open inside and out and more information on it if you're interested. And I'm up in the actual box now looking at the station that's looking towards Norwich. And in this shot I'm looking back towards North Walsham. On the right hand side there was the yard. And on the left is the now the Bure Valley narrow gauge railway line. Which we shall be following before we go any further, here's a, an old map of Wroxham round about early 1900. Obviously you can see the station, the road going underneath at the North Walsham end, and then the signal box and the yard on the upside. And here the good shed, cattle pens, and then you can see looking towards North Walsham at the top, the diverging diverging line to County School which is now um, facilitating the track bed of the Bure Valley Railway. There's not much left of the old yard now there's this um, old goods shed that uh, you can see here. Uh, the yard was um, operational until 1991 uh, there was also a yard signal box, but only for a short time. 
Um, there's not much left now. There's still a, some rails left in there. Um, and if we swing round, you can see the Bure Valley Renaro Gauge Railway Station um, that was built after the main line shut and the signal box there as well. Further along the path now, looking back towards Roxham, you can see the two lines diverging there, the main line to North Walsham on the far side, and uh, here we are looking the other way now, and the narrow gauge line on the old county school line, um, moving away and climbing up to our next uh, location. And we're further along now at the top of the bank and the, we're on the old track bed now. Um, the North Walsham line is over there in the distance. We've moved right away from it now. And I don't know if you can see it very well. And then we shall be uh, going in this direction towards Aylsham. Before we go any further, just a little bit of information about uh, this track bed and uh, path. Um, after closure of the line, Norfolk County Council offered to purchase 22 miles from Renway to Aylesford and consequently established the Marriott's Way. Broadland District Council purchased the remaining nine miles for Roxham and a footpath and narrow gauge railway were built on the old track bed, the railway being leased back to the Bure Valley Railway. This also provided another tourist attraction which would help bring money into the community. Work on this narrow gauge railway started in May 1989 and the line was opened in 1990. And that's why you'll notice with the bridges, they're quite wide, because obviously this was a standard gauge track head originally. So, that's a little bit of history of why we have this path in the narrow gauge railway here now. And the path does actually follow the full nine miles from Roxham to Aylesham. And we'll continue along it, along it now. first item of interest we come to is this underbridge over a farm track and footpath. Um, looks like it's red brick with some blue brick copings. Let's go down and have a look underneath. It was a very windy day when I did this. This is why I didn't do any commentary live. Now let's go down and have a look. we are underneath. Fine structure this, still standing proud. It's only over a, a farm track. They didn't mess about in those days. Very nice. The line has been climbing up from Roxham now to here. This is Belau Crossing where the railway crossed over Hand Lane. And this is looking the other way. You can see the gatehouse there, large building. I don't know if that's been extended. And here we have an old plate layers hut made out of old wooden sleepers. Amazing how many things old sleepers have been used for. 
they're just so well preserved and I can assure you they are not very easy to cut they'll mess up a saw blade just by looking at it and here we have a very fine red brick skew overbridge this one carries Tunstead Road over the railway and I believe it's number 1294 as I said you can see how wide it is because obviously it had to incorporate or had to bridge over a standard gauge line there's some old telegraph wire brackets and here we have an underbridge uh, this is 1295 over the street um, red brick arched semicircular I think that would be called with wing walls and here we have another plate layers hut hidden up in the foliage um, this one has a nice brick fireplace you can just imagine the plate layers sheltering from the wind and rain in here a lovely fire roaring away probably a kettle somewhere as well and a big pot of tea of course they wouldn't be used so much now because they don't walk the track like they used to they use these things ultrasonic trains that speed along and record everything about the track much easier I guess so the next bridge we come to is this three arch red brick elliptical masonry um, this is bridge number 1296 oh yes it says so on the pier there this is over the hill um, obviously we're in a cutting now another fine structure and further along there was this concrete triangular post I'm not quite sure, it could have been a mile post. And another three arch red elliptical masonry bridge. This is number 1297, carrying Rectory Road over the railway. Again, we're still in a cutting and this is another what I think is a mile post or was and just before Coltishall we come to this um, masonry elliptical arch overbridge this carries the B1150 which uh, is station road this is number 1298 nice solid looking structure and if we go um, the other side of it there's this metal um, footbridge I'm not sure about that when that was built there alongside the road bridge it looks pretty old to me yeah, just to prove that's 1298 this is the other side nearly well virtually at Coltishall station now which we'll have a look at so this is Coltishall these are the station buildings with two and three quarter miles from Roxham. Here there was a single platform, station building, and the station master's house, as we see here. Uh, there was a brick based signal box on the other side. Sidings both sides. 
And over the years there's been a mixture of freight traffic including sand, uh, coal, gas, condensate and general goods. And that looks like an old part of an old bay platform and there was a, a, a siding on the other, both sides, one on one side and one where this path is. And this is the road side, you can see the fine station buildings and station master's house. And that's what it used to look like. So I think that's a convenient place to stop this part. Um, in part two we'll move on towards Aylsham. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.